first responsibility is always parents, but underage drinking is everybody's responsibility. And for those of us in whatever capacity who influence a child's life, this is our responsibility. So parents, family members, certainly school leaders as well. And the biggest impact really comes from your own behavior, being resolutely healthy, keeping your mind in shape, and looking towards the future. Sensitive issues with children about who they're going to be in the future. As children get older, that responsibility really does shift to school settings and to social settings and to the places they begin to spend their lives. For parents, it never goes away, but it's certainly a part of a parent's first responsibility. And it's not that you're talking to your two-year-old about underage drinking, but you are speaking to your two-year-old and your three-year-old about who they are and how they act in their environment. I think the biggest shift for the nation in underage drinking has been a culture shift. We have decided as a society it's not okay. It's not okay for younger people to be drinking. We understand a lot more about health than we did 20, 30 years ago. So parents have changed in what they know and what they share with their kids and that's a plus, but there's still a lot of room to know even more.